everybody, welcome back to my channel. I was going to say, welcome back to this week's vlog, but I've been on fire recently. I have been uploading left, right and center and I'm so here for it. I've got such a YouTube buzz recently that I just have like loads of ideas, loads of fun stuff happening. I just wanna, I wanna share it with all of you guys. So I hope you are sharing the same buzz with me. God, Bear really scared me then, I was like, Who's that figure emerging from the sunlight? It's just Bear's head, but close up. Thought it was mum stalking me. Anyway, moving on. Today's video is kind of a day in the life of, but also kind of not, because I'm gonna take all the admin out for you guys, just to make it a little bit more interesting, I guess, for you. I don't know, maybe you enjoy that bit, maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments below. But what I thought I would show you is my sort of activities, my exercise my riding everything i do during the day that is riding or exercise based took me a while to get my words out there but bear with me guys bear with me it's I'm, i was gonna say it's early it really isn't early <laughs> embarrassing anyway so this morning all the horses were done we had three in overnight so they were turned out mucked out and then all of the ponies that are in now came in so we've got Jam, Millie, Dora, Sally, and Bear in at the minute. So what I'm gonna do is I've got six to ride today because I've also got a livery here with me and Jam's having a day off. You can probably see, those of you with 2020 vision can see on the board behind me what's going on. You can see if anyone's sat there like, who's Finn? He is the livery that's here, but you guys are gonna see him in today's video. So. If you haven't got 2020 vision, I'll go ahead and read out what we're doing. So Dee's just doing a hack today. She did pole work yesterday, so she's just gonna have a little chill day. Bear is doing some pole work. Dora's doing some flat work, possibly with a few poles on the floor. Basically, when I put pole work session, it means like they're gonna be doing a lot of poles. Like that's the main reason we're going in there. So like I'm not really concentrating on things I'm working on the flat with them. Um, whereas if I've put flat work, like I might pop them over a few poles which are out, but I'm going to be more thinking about like the dressage side of things, if that makes sense. That was really poorly explained and wasn't really what I wanted to say, but you know, bear with me guys. So yeah, Dora's doing flat work, Sally's doing flat work, Millie's doing pole work for the very first time, so don't know how that's going to go. And Finn is also doing pole work. He only arrived yesterday, I had a quick sit on him, literally for 15 minutes while the owners were here, so... Don't know how he's moved poles. I'm sure he'll be fab because he's an absolute sweetheart. So quite a busy day, quite a lot of riding. And then this evening, I'm also taking you guys along with me to a Nikki T hot to trot workout session. Yeah. So Nikki is absolutely incredible. She's been helping me a lot through lockdown. She's actually got me so into my fitness. I say into my fitness. I do it once or twice a week, but that is a lot more than I ever used to do. Like other than when I was at uni, I would never go to the gym or anything like that because I was always too tired at the end of the day doing horses and I just never had the motivation. But I've been doing these Zoom classes with Nikki recently and they've been absolutely fabulous. They are tailored to riders. So they work on things that we need to work on. Like a lot of it's on our core and on our hips and legs, like places that riders are quite weak. She gives us exercises to target those areas, to strengthen them and also to stretch them off because we all know that riders get incredibly achy after a long day at the barn. So it's quite a busy day. It's not too crazy because we're not going off anywhere. So I'm literally just based at home today, but also like there's six to ride and five to go in the school. So that always takes longer and more energy than hacking. So thought I'd take you guys along with me. I'm also working with my incredible sponsor today, Shire's A Question. They have provided me with this beautiful outfit. You can't see it great here, but you're gonna be seeing a lot of it today because I'll be wearing it all day. And then I've also got a top change to go and do the workout this evening. The fabulous thing about these Kingsbury riding tights, which you can see now, is they are so versatile. They're incredible. I will ride all day in them and then go and do a workout. You can go and do a run in them. They're kind of like wearing sports leggings, but they're tailored to riding. So you've got the grippy knee panels, as you can see there, which keeps your legs so nice and secure in the saddle. And you've also got these really nice camo breathable patches on the front, which makes them very comfortable to ride in because you've got a nice bit of stretch over your thigh 
which is what you need when you're getting on a horse and sitting in that position. I've also got my Newbury base layer on. This has got the nice little cami bits on the arms and under the arms there. Nice and breathable. I'm not gonna say why it needs to be breathable there, but you know it does, guys. And finally, my Dagenham camo sports bra on. Massive, massive thank you to Shires for sending me this outfit. It is super comfortable. You guys know that I live in Shires equestrian stuff around the yard, but today, I am feeling so coordinated. I hope you guys are impressed with me because, you know, sometimes I come out in my pajamas, sometimes I'm not like completely color coordinated. It's no secret, guys. I'm no like fashion Easter. However, today I'm feeling quite swaggy, feeling quite carpe diem. I'm ready to seize this day, ready to ride these ponies and do this workout. I'm gonna have to watch this back before I do the workout because I can feel the pain already. Oh, also, I'm wearing really cute Shire's Equestrian socks. There you go. They've got pheasants on. They're bright pink. Mum just walked past and was like, what are you doing? Why are you talking about your socks? Do you know what? Life is too short for boring socks, so I'm very into my fun socks, and these are the ones I've picked for today. So I'm going to pick a pony to ride first. Not going to show you all the tacking up and stuff, guys. You know how it goes, and I will meet you down in the arena. See you in a bit. Pony number one, we've gone for Teddy Bear. She's also wearing her Shire's Numna here, which as you can see has this really cool grippy bit underneath. It's also like padded, you can see. It's like almost like memory foam, I guess. And it's got grips there to keep the saddle in place. And it is such a cool color, looks fab on Duns. So I'm on the gorgeous teddy bear now. You can see my poles in the background with my fabulous poly jumps. I've got some raised trot poles and also some raised walk poles. So, so good for getting them to engage their core, work over their backs, work their bums. Poles are just the dream. Highly recommend for anyone wanting to build muscle. Also really good for their uh, necks and shoulders. Anyway, I could literally go on a whole rant about poles, but I will spare you. Shire's also sent me a super cool camo hat silk with detachable pom-poms. So there's like a pink one and also a lighter one than this. I chose this one because I thought it looked good for the outfit. So I am looking so in sync right now. Just wait guys, you'll be seeing this on the cover of Vogue in a matter of weeks, I expect. Anyway, I'm going to warm Teddy up and then I'll get mum to come out and get a few clips so you can see how she goes. And then I will move on to the next pony. I'm already thinking about lunch, but I've set myself the aim of riding two before lunch. So I'm going to pop a podcast on and catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okie dokie, Bear is all warmed up on the flat. I've waited to go over the poles for mum to come out and video in case she does anything funny. So let's attempt going over the walk poles first. Hopefully Bear's learnt her lesson. What was that? <laughs> Bear! <laughs> that is not how you do walk poles. I swear walk poles are really good guys when your pony actually has a brain cell. <laughs> now, yeah, well, you've got yourself upset, come on. Take your time. Good girl. Good. Ooh, good girl. You don't have to jump that last one. <laughs> right, dare we do the drop holes? I'm not sure. Uh, my nerves are up to it. <laughs> Bear. <gasps> so that was a drop pole bounce. Done prop poles and raised prop poles so many times. Right, think whoa for the first one. Oh, good girl, good girl, oh, good no. girl. Well done. 
Cannot compute it. If you've got a pony as dim as bear, start with them not raised. Start with them on the floor. Do you want me to put them on the floor? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> goldfish. <laughs> right, steady bear. Woo 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 woo. Good girl! Look how black it is over there. Woo good girl! As you can see guys, we've had to take the wings away because Bear thought it was a bounce. <laughs> and now we've got her going over them properly. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <sighs> Teddy, she always wants to do her best. <laughs> she always wants to jump. She always wants to jump, yeah. Trot, 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 trot. Well done. Oh, clever pony, she's got it. Right, so I'm gonna finish off this session, but that's all you need to see for Ted. Wasn't planning on doing any jumping today, guys, but you know, there brings the goods. <laughs> trot, 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 trot. Well done. Okay, pony number two selected is the lovely Millie. She's got her new prestige saddle. Well, new to us, not new to the world, which Lauren from Polish Saddles kindly came out and fitted for her yesterday. So our first ride, well, proper ride in today. On we get, Mel. Walk on, darling. Okay, so literally just got a Millie, gonna walk her around a bit, get her settled. She's still quite new. Has it been three weeks? I think new. three weeks today. Oh, happy three week anniversary, <laughs> Mel. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> but she's actually been such a star. I cannot believe how quickly she's come on. Hopefully if you guys have seen the video of me buying her, I'm hoping you can already see a difference just from watching her walk around now. She's had her teeth done. She's so much softer in the mouth. She's obviously got her new saddle now. Good. So she's happier on her back. So now it's just a case of schooling and sort of letting her see the world. So I'll give her a little warm up. She's going to do some trot poles for the first time today. Not going to do them raised, partly because of how Bear just behaved, but also because I don't know if Millie's ever done poles. So we'll give her the benefit of the doubt and there. Uh, do them on the floor. So I'll see you in a bit. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. So Millie has been really, really sweet to work with, but she's a sensitive soul, I'd say. And she's just, because she's not done loads of ridden work, I don't know how well you can hear me, guys. She just can get a little bit jumpy, like when you put your leg on her or Dad's down there doing fencing and there's loads of banging going on. So she can be a little bit sensitive to sound and touch. So I always just take a long time at the start of the sessions, just getting her really chilled, trotting around, not asking too much of her, just letting her see everything. But she's relaxed quite quickly now. I've probably been trotting for two or three minutes now. demo pony. She likes it when I speak. <laughs> Good girl. 
trim them. It can't be too nice getting stung on your belly as you trot past. Well done. Avoid this thing if you don't like it. I'll come and tread on it. Hold on. Good girl. Better than bear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a nine year old that's probably never seen more than two poles in a row. Yeah, even though she's done, we've seen her over a jump, we, we don't know how much of her education. No, I'm just kind of treating it like she's never done it. And then at least we've got all bases covered that way. Yeah. better when she's actually thinking about something she just completely relaxes good girl yeah. right let's see if we can trot over those poles good watch that outside shoulder young lady good oh Aww. little bro very pretty a clever girl Maybe it's me that's ruined bear with poles. <laughs> well done. Steady. Oh, well done. Good girl. Someone has done poles with you. Yep, I think we could make those raised. Let me just take her the other way. Good. See guys, I've not got loads of control over her shoulders and her body at the minute. I need to teach her some lateral work, but so pleased with how she's come along with going on the bit and flexing. Well done. Good, I know. Look out for a Millie Progress vlog coming soon. <laughs> Forgot to mention. Got some hairy clips to put in. <laughs> hairy is in physically hairy and metaphorically hairy. <laughs> oh. <Excuse> me. <laughs> She's like, stop talking and get on with the job. Oh, a little bit of a relapse there. <laughs> suddenly forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Millie. You really well That's really nice. So much better, isn't it? Really nice. nice. Well done. Well good done. girl. You're a good girl. Well done. Okay. 
worried about the stingers. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, it's nice and easy. I'm trying to teach her what mo woe means, guys, because she doesn't know. Ooh. Oh, good girl. Should we do a cross bowl? Oh, yes. Let's. Okay, you ready for Millie's first jump at home? Literally haven't jumped her all this time because she's been a whizzy pony, but why not do it for you guys here now? Yeah. yeah. Well done. Sorry, I didn't mean to fill you in the mouth then. Well done. You always have that moment of panic, like, are they going to run off? <laughs> Lesser. <laughs> like, what, take off now? <laughs> Preferably, Millie. <laughs> it doesn't work better if you take off. It's going to take a while for you two to get used to each other. Well done. Should I put it up a bit? Crashing down. Pardon? Should I put it up a bit? Let me try in a little canter. Draw. <laughs> Come on, one more time, Milmer. You've got it. Oh, super duper. Good, Good girl. Well done. Well done. Well done, Millie. You are so clever. So that's pony number two done. I'm going to run in and have some lunch quickly. Shock horror, I've already changed the plan on the board. <laughs> it's this saddle, it's so nice, and Millie was going so well, so. We thought we may as well have a little pop. I'm sure you guys won't mind. It makes the vlog more interesting. Good girl. See what I mean about the sensitivity. You've just, she's just a little bit funny sometimes. Well done. But super happy with that. And then we'll come back. Don't know who I'm doing next. Need to eat first. Probably Dora next. Probably Dora, yes. Okay. And another reason I had to jump is because I had to test out this lovely outfit, see if I could jump in it, which obviously I can. Good Run in for some lunch now. This is actually my second time filming this. Oh, Pip, don't go. I was telling people how feral you were and now how lovely you are. Oh. Well, I've been made a right mug of, haven't I? Um, yeah, I did film a really good one telling you about Pip and how good he is now after he was super feral. And just went to like check it back. Big bit of curry on my lip. But you know, whatever. Thought I'd refilm it for you guys, treat you all. Anyway, so I'm gonna eat this, run back out, do Dora, Sally, Finn, then D, all before six o'clock when we're doing the hot to trot session. So I need to get a wriggle on. Back to it, if anyone's wondering why I'm walking like a snail, because I'm taking tea out for Hobbs and I. She's literally disappeared, don't know where she's gone. So I'm gonna hop on, door. I don't know what the weather's doing. One minute it's sunny, next minute it's windy, looking like it's gonna rain. Literally don't know. Anyway, outfit is sorting me out. I've popped a little Julie on, but 
don't think I'll need it for riding. Oh, your tea? Thank you very much. I'm going to need two hands for this, hang on. Pony number three is the gorgeous Dora. We're going to go ahead and ignore the stable stain there on her head. You rock it, Dora. You still look beautiful. I'm literally so impressed that the four-year-old's just stood by the mountain block with her and holding. Oh, is mum going to ruin it? No. Look how well-trained she is. Very good. Are you impressed? Yep. Right, Dora, should we hop on? Sorry, wide open. No. I think Alistair's down in the wood. Good. The best drop. Better. Good girl. Better. Well Nice. Good girl. Well done. That's better. Now go forwards. Good. Pony number four, we have the beautiful Sally, although she's not looking particularly enthusiastic. Also going to try and uh, weed my school for me. Thanks, Sal. Appreciate that. Thanks, babe. She is wearing her Shire's Air Motion Numner, so similar to the one I showed you earlier. It's got the grippy, spongy bits at the back. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Um, but this material, you can't really tell. If I hold you up to the light, there you go. You can sort of see. You can see right through it. So on hot days, it is fabulous for getting lots of airflow down to their bodies, making them a bit less sweaty. Sal! Right, I better hop on. So for people that haven't watched all of the old vlogs, Sally's been with me. How long? Nearly a year, isn't it? Since well, September, yeah. last September. God, well, that's crazy. Um, yeah, we've produced her a bit, but she is actually sold now. She's got a lovely new owner. She's just been with me for a few weeks' livery. Well done. But she's going off to her new home this week, sadly. So, doing a little bit more schooling with her before she goes. She's been absolute poppet, hasn't she? She's been an angel. She is four, would you believe, guys? <laughs> Sally finds canter particularly difficult. Oh, no. Very big action. Get on your bum. Get on your bum. Sit on your bum. Good 
Um. Well done, Sally. Yeah, she does. It's like playing chicken with her. It's like you'd have to leave your outside rain and not help her. <laughs> it's like who's gonna who's break gonna... first? <laughs> Good. Now stretch down, darling. Well done. Stretch down. Well done. Lovely. Good, Sally. Good, Sally. Lovely. Pony number five now is the gorgeous Finn. So I've already mentioned he is here on schooling livery. So we're just gonna do some flat work today with a bit of pole work. The owner wants me to work on him sort of being able to shorten his canter and just strengthen up behind a little bit and strengthen his core. But he is so gorgeous. He's a seven year old Connemara. Finn, put your ears forward. He is very, very handsome when he puts his ears forward, but I'm not sure he's in the mood. Good boy. Right, I'll hop on and film a little bit. So, just trying to teach Finn a little bit of long and low here, just to try and work that triangular bit of uh, muscle there. The muscle isn't actually triangular, but there's a triangle on his neck. Just to uh, clarify, guys. Good. <laughs> I don't know who's more exhausted. Oh dear, such hard work for him that because he's literally having to work all over his back and bum. It's yeah, hard work for the pair of us, but he's definitely <laughs> grasping it. So I'll give him a quick canter, do some poles with him, and then that'll be his session done. Also, guys, I hope you've noticed that I've changed my pom pom to match Finn's lovely saddle pad. Hey? Told you, fashion Easter now, yeah? Look at that. Made for each other. I was going to try and be organised and change them between each horses, but I forgot to with Sally and I think I was pom pomless. <laughs> forgot to put it back on. Oh dear. Right, let's do some poles, mister. Pony number six, featuring my Silvermore Halage in the background, which I need to move and do a vlog with. 
So of course it is the beautiful Dee Dee, my darling. Fun fact, this is where I get on when I'm going out hacking. Little tree stump with a bit of rubber matting nailed on. Thanks, Dad. Dee Dee is wearing another beautiful Shires Equestrian Numner. You can guess what I'm gonna say, guys. It's the one with the cool grippy stuff. Don't eat those poppies. <laughs> So as you can see, one final time, the cool grippy stuff there, grippy stuff there, fluff attached, just amazing, air motion, absolutely love it. Also, I have a lot of time for this grey, it looks so good on grey ponies, better when they're clean, hey? Thanks Hobbit! So I'm just heading out for my hack now, final pony of the day. If I've got load schooling, I always like to save the hacks for the end because I'm like most tired then. And it means that I can just kind of sit and blob along. You can see Dee is an absolute saint of a pony. I just love this pony so much. She is, yeah, one in a million. Anyway, that is not to do with this vlog. So the riding tights are still going super strong. This grip, I'm going to show you guys when it's actually on a saddle. You can see there, so it goes right into, sorry, I'm holding the phone really badly, right into the uh, the knee roll there and is so grippy. And the other thing I like about it is you can tell, like you can feel it when it grips and that way you can also feel when your leg isn't like touching the saddle and isn't close to the saddle because you get like a little, like it just sticks. So it's, it's almost like a little reminder when you're riding to kind of, just keep that contact with the saddle a little bit. So yeah, I always like stuff like that. It's yeah, nice. A little little reminder for me about my uh, leg, which is always fab. Anyway, I have literally got less than an hour until the hot to trot class starts. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna trot the whole way. Okay, so this is the realities of trying to have friendships with horses. I mean, Georgie does ride, so we normally <laughs> ride together, but we couldn't today, so. <laughs> She happened to pass me on the hack and we're having a little uh, chin mag together, which is cute. Okay, not doing too badly. It's 20 to six and I'm about seven minutes from home. So 13 minutes to have a quick top change and then I'll be ready for the hot to trot. That is the fabulous thing about these leggings. You can literally do everything in them and it works so well for me because so often during the day, I am like a headless chicken just running around. How beautiful is that countryside? Sorry, talking about the stresses of modern day life. Just take a moment guys to enjoy that view, hey? Do you feel all zen now? Um, but I popped on to say, like having a schooling day, I always get this, I've noticed my um, trap muscles, what, is that what they're called? My tra trapeziums, tra is that what they're called? Trap, I just call them traps, trapeziums? Trap, tra trapezi? Trapanese? I don't know. Anyway, well, I, the point of this is, A, to ask Nikki what they're called now, um, but I'm going to ask her for some stretches and some exercises I can do. She's really good at giving you exercises that you can just like do, like when you've got a spare minute, so like around the yard, like say before you get on the horse or something. So I'm gonna ask her about that today because I could do with incorporating them into my schooling days. Two minutes to go, check me out. Literally ran in from the barn. I'm such a disaster with my time. Anyway, I thought I'd really quickly show you the sports bra I've been wearing all day. Absolutely love it. Looks fab with the leggings and nice and supportive even for girls like moi who don't have that much to support. Okay, I've popped on the top I'm going to wear. This is the Elverson top in olive. Looks fab with these leggings. Love the color combo. I've got it in an extra small. It's like nice and uh, baggy, good for working out. So recommend. Anyway, it's now six o'clock, so I need to fire up Zoom, do the workout, and then I will ask Nikki about these, uh, these, these tra 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 trapeziums. Feel right up. Okay, here we have the sure gorgeous Nikki. I need to really quickly show them this, just show you what a Zoom call is like. So it's on my Mac, I'm muted so she can't hear me, don't worry. Uh, but I need to get stretching. Anyway, this is the lovely Nikki and I'll tell you a little bit more afterwards.
Okay, so we've just finished the class and stretched off. I thought I'd show you guys. Nikki, give us a wave. <laughs> so as I've already said on the vlog, I've got really, really tight trap muscles. So Nikki's gonna really quickly show us some good stretches because I think it's quite common with riding. You were saying mucking out could be the reason. Yeah, yeah, mucking out. Um just doing repetitive movements where yeah. you can probably do this. Probably often like especially like you sitting on young horses and stuff, you probably hold yourself like this yeah, quite a lot without literally. It. and then also um like being on your phone and stuff. Don't, I, I phone don't do that, don't do that. I'm, I'm like, never on my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> okay. Um so I did just briefly show Meg the stretches and mm. she's done this one before um it's not particularly like full on up in your trap so you're not gonna feel it fully up here but it does channel through and help with your posture in general so yeah. when we've been sat like this a lot it's quite helpful to grab a chair or even like your kitchen counter and kind of stand up but i'll show you this one so we're gonna be down on our knees far enough away that i have to like reach forwards to grab the stool and then from there, I'm going to drop my chest all the way down to the floor and drive my elbows as if I'm going to go underneath. Ooh, let's zoom in there. Yeah, Lovely. Of get to about here and it'll hurt, but um, just practice, even if it means like rocking back and forth in and out of it. Yeah. It'll probably hurt here for a while and then it'll kind of channel down into your, what you call your, your lats down yeah. here. And it just all in all will like stop this from happening and roll your shoulders back. So it will let your traps kind of like have a bit of ease. That's what us on. riders need. Nice posture. Exactly. Okay, right. And then Meg, you're going to show me yeah. your ball. Okay. I let said me... to Meg, Meg, have you got a ball? And she was like, oh, I do. And then she whacked out this. Okay, right. Got Nikki in the background, guys. <laughs> Right, okay, round so four? Meg, lay down, pop your, with your opposite arm, pop it under your shoulder on this side, that's it. So Meg is popping it Ooh. just in the point where it's not on her shoulder blade, it's kind of in the squishy bit. Um, Meg, if you point out in a second, like where, with your finger, like come up to the camera and just show. But right. yeah, and then... There. Is that yeah, right? Am I doing right? It's just underneath the painful bit, basically, isn't it? Yeah. So go down, pop it back in, and then... Just like release, like let your head just relax, let your arm relax to one side, and then probably just start gently moving your elbow up and down, like on the floor, and, and just separate. doing teeny tiny little motions, like wriggling those shoulders on the floor, and you'll just be able to massage yeah. over your knotty bits that you said you can feel already. I can literally feel it popping over the ball. And yeah, so like just kind of being in that position, and then doing that thing where I said to kind of turn your head to me. Like as if you're like sneakily looking around the corner. You just want me That's to get it. all my chins out for the vlog. Uh, do you want to see mine? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just um, yeah, staying on that ball and just working into the shoulders like every evening or so would probably be really beneficial. Well, it's good because it's like if you don't have someone to massage you, just yeah. do it yourself, you guys. You can also do this against the wall. But probably not with that kind of ball. Probably more like a good solid tennis ball. Yeah. Don't use a squeaky dog toy ball because it doesn't work. <laughs> You're going to get a fright. Well, I mean, to save the vlog watching, you know, half an hour of me doing that, I'll stop. But thank you. <laughs> that's sure, bad. The basic pattern, I end up like opening my mouth and being like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thanks for that, Nikki. That's okay. Has anyone watched The Grinch? Do you know what I mean when I say I look like a Whoville? You know, <laughs> it's like all up high like that. Woo! Don't you dare screenshot to your stories. This is a safe space where we love and encourage each other. So I've just finished doing the stretches that Nikki gave me. So good. Although I think I do need to get a tennis ball because this is rock hard. And maybe I could graduate to this one. But at the minute, it's painful. But like good painful you know literally like such an active day but most of my days are pretty active but I always try and plan my Tuesdays as really busy because I always do this workout and as mad as it sounds it makes me feel so much better after I think because she stretches us and then she like does loads of exercises which target the muscles I've been using all day and then we do a really good stretch off at the end 
I actually end up feeling less achy the following day after doing this class. So I'm always like, do everything on Tuesday, like school at all the ponies so that I have a good um, stretch off in the evening. Thank you so much, Nikki. You are incredible. I'm going to pop her up on the screen now. She doesn't just do hot trot classes. She has a class like nearly every day of the week. She's got glute ones, ab ones, all sorts. Um, she also does Instagram lives on a Saturday morning. The hit sessions, guys, they're savage. They are savage, but so good. In fact, it's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I believe it's 10.30, but double check. Go follow her on Instagram. I think it's 10.30 British summertime if you're watching from abroad. But I will try my best to go on it. If not, do it and tag Nikki and I in your stories. Definitely go and check her out. She's incredible. She's helped me so, so much. And she's so lovely. I always DM her if I'm like struggling with something and she's always got something to help me out. Anyway, thank you very much, Nikki, for another class. I will see you next Tuesday. Guys, if you want to book on, go onto Instagram, DM her. They're only five pounds to do the Zoom classes, literally an hour long. And I come away feeling so good. Uh, I'll definitely be doing it next Tuesday. So do it and you can see me on there. It'll be super fun. Workout finished approximately 27 minutes ago. Your girl's got cake, but carrot cake with sultanas. So <laughs> probably two of your five a day, if not more. I mean, you can see the carrot. I'm joking. Don't quote me on that. It's obviously not part of your five a day. I'm just having to casually reverse because mum's got the radio on and I cannot have copyrighted music in this vlog. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to be really quick because I want to sink my teeth into this bad boy. Massive thank you to Shires for providing all of my outfits. Technically outfits, I guess, because I had a top change. I will leave the link to all of the things that I've worn in this vlog in the description below. This is also a Shires coat. Absolutely love it because it's quite chilly now. It's been a long old day. It's nearly eight o'clock. So I'm gonna go and finish up the horses, do their hay water feeds, maybe do mucking out, probably not do mucking out realistically. Then I'll go inside, have a shower, have tea and edit this bad boy. So it's out and ready for Friday. Just gonna interrupt previous Meg who was all joyous, thinking she was gonna go and have a shower, live her best life, maybe relax a little. To let you know that tonight is my night to cook. So literally, as I like closed that bit of the vlog and mum was like, bye. In you go, like time to cook. So. Anyway, I've now got my Shires jumper on, as you can see there. So a good excuse to see, show you another item from the collection. Um, what am I gonna make? I'm gonna make like a pasta, bacon, mushroom, chorizo, or chorizo, as they say on MasterChef, kind of dish. That's the plan. I won't let you know how it goes because this really is gonna be the end. Anyway, back to Meg. Hope that she said that all of the items I've worn in this vlog are gonna be linked below. Live, laugh, love. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. Hey. Hope you've enjoyed, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know more things you want to see. Did you enjoy this style of video? Do you want to see more day in the lives of where I'm just like doing my riding and exercise and stuff? Do you want to see more behind the scenes? Do you want to see the the nitty gritty bits, the mucking out, the grooming, the sweeping. Let me know. As always, I love hearing ideas. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.